This is today, and this is when we go Monaco, and the Bentley is still not ready. So we better get a move on and start getting it ready. We've got two weeks. Let's get the A45 out of the way, and let's get the Bentley on the road. Right, there's so many things to do on the Bentley and there's still loads of things to touch up, so don't even tell me about it in my comments. This little bit of kit is going to come very, very handy later in the video, but you'll find out. Right, let's get going. I was going to order a private reg, but I still don't have the logbook. Hopefully it comes in time. Why does the fuel light never surprise me in this car? 9.7 miles to gallon. Come on, and look at this. We've got to get the tint sorted out. Terrible, terrible. So welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave and also hit the thumbs up button. If you're not new here, then you would know that this is my Bentley that we bought for 10,000 pounds and we're slowly, slowly getting there to reaching the final product. Now there is a loads more things to do, but one of those things that we need to address today, the alloys. They just don't suit the car. I think they're too small, even though they are 20 inch. We need to be going bigger and we need to be heading to wheel mania. So guys, I will see you there. Let's go. So we are here and the lads have already started getting the wheels on the Bentley Continental GT. I'm as eager as they are, so let's go inside and let's go and see the wheels that I've chosen for it. They are absolutely crazy, so let's go in. And here they are. Some absolute, they're 22 inch multi-spoke alloys, obviously from Wheelmania. They're absolutely crazy. I've gone with the Pirelli P0s again, um, just literally changing from what I had on to what we've got on now. But these are absolutely mental. So the Bentley's finally got his wheels on, 22 inch. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Obviously we're at Wheelmania, inside the showroom now. If you need any alloy wheels, go check them out. They can supply with tyres as well. And the showroom is absolutely sick and they're just in Birmingham as well. Right, I think it's time to sort the ride height issue out. Now here we are at Malibu Performance where we pretty much end up in most of the videos at the minute. So we're about to use a ramp because we're going to sort out the ride height on it. I think it looks a little bit too high now. It's rolling on the 22 inches. So we're going to control a little bit of that arch gap and get things lower. And you'll see how I'm going to do that. And I'm actually surprised how it actually works. So I'll be surprised if it actually works as well. So let's get the Bentley in the ramps. Now before we head into the ramps, I think it is time for a Y food. So what's Y food you ask? Well Y foods have actually sponsored this video. This is the sample pack which you may have saw in a previous video including all of these milkshakes. Now ask me why do I use Y food? Now on a day like today where I'm literally rushing around doing absolutely everything I can to get videos and get content out for you guys I always end up grabbing fast food or something which is just not so good for you which is where Y food comes into place because they're actually a meal replacement and a real healthy one as well. So in the sample box, you are gonna get five of the tastiest flavors that Y food has to offer. Smooth vanilla, eh, smooth vanilla, alpine chocolate, happy banana, fresh berry, cold brew coffee. Happy banana is obviously my personal favorite. 500 calories in each of these so you can ensure you're getting the right sort of calories per day. They keep you full, they taste nice and if you smash my link in the description box below, you're going to get yourself a fat discount off one of these as well. So go and get yourself one now. They taste good. You'll feel 10 times better for it. And they're perfect for people like you and me who are on the go 24-7. They taste good as well. You get the acting like a hot shot. Now your body bleeding from the hot shot Oh, I ain't trying to be no up duck No, oh, I ain't trying to be no up duck Remember that kit I popped in the boot? Which is here This is actually going to lower the Bentley Now I don't think we can actually go much lower on the front because it may start rubbing But we're going to put these on We're going to uh, get the rear a little bit lower So you're probably asking what the hell are these? <laughs> Well, these are actually the cheapest things I've actually bought for the Bentley. As you know, the Bentley is on air ride suspension, okay? All you need to do 
is sort of trick the air ride into thinking it's at its right height. So the Bentley can raise up with a press of a button and when the Bentley lowers down, it will get to a point where it thinks it should stop. So these are just to sort of trick it to where it should actually stop. So the lowest point would be lower than usual, but the highest point will be normal. So let's fit these and see how they get on. These were actually 80 pounds. 80 pounds to lower a car, that is an absolute bargain. My daddy left from Palestine to Houston in a coffin. Nah, he ain't dead, but mentally we probably lost him. I feel like Kendrick Perkins running five on five in Boston. Cause I've been running way too long, now I just feel exhausted. That arm there actually tells the computer what the ride height is of the car. So all we're gonna be doing is replacing that on that side, on that side as well. Also on the rear there, and on the rear there. So, in true Matt Armstrong fashion, let's get on with it. I'm gonna absolutely deck it to start off with just to see what it looks like. It'll probably rip my bumper off or something stupid, but we'll go from there, okay? Let's get them on. So they're on, I've not read the instructions, so I don't know whether if you adjust them all the way out, it's gonna go lower, or the all the way in, it goes higher. I've just wound them all the way in at the minute, and then I'm gonna lower it down, and then it's simply now just a, a sort of visual game. So I lower it down, check the ride height, lower it, higher it back up again, adjust it. So it could be a quite a while, so let's get this down and let's see it either gonna be really high or really low. Let's have a look. That is absolute chaos. Yeah, we're not gonna get away with that. That is too low. Although it does look sick, it's just well too low. Oh my God, look at the rear. Look at the rear. Oh my giddy on. <laughs> Although it does look sick, I'm gonna adjust this. Try and get it to the right height. All I've gotta do is wind the coils up, wind the coils down. I'm gonna have to go up, down, up, down. I'm not even gonna bore you lot with me doing that. I'm gonna adjust it to think, to sort of get the right ride height that I think, and then we'll go from there. I think maybe I might be needing some smaller tires, but we'll find out, we'll find out. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, I think we've smashed it. I think we've got it at the right height. Hang on a minute. Why are you not subscribed? Click subscribe underneath. And if you are subscribed, smash the thumbs up button. Right, let's lock it all on, get it down, and then finally see what it looks like. I know it's not gonna be to everyone's taste, but that's what car modifying is about, is to make it to your own taste, not everybody else's, so. That's what the comment section is for below. Show, tell me your opinion. I, if you hate it, if you love it, I don't care, it's my car. I'm sure I'm gonna love it, or will I? Let's get it down, come on. So, we're on level ground now, check this out. 74 centimeters. 74 centimeters. 74 and a half centimeters. 74 and a half centimeters. Let's get this car out of here and you guys can see what it looks like out on the road. Fingers crossed, it drives okay, it doesn't roar. Let's get it out. I'm in debt to know him, but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up. 
bankroll, bankroll, euro, euro, peso, peso, add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Oh, so sick. I don't know whether you guys like it or not. I may go a size smaller in tyres, but I'll have to speak to Will Mania about that. I don't know whether to... We'll see whether it rubs or not, but I think maybe I probably should go down a little bit on the profile on the tyres. But I think it's time now to get it on the road, see if it rubs. Hopefully it doesn't, because if it does, I'm not rubbing all the way to Monaco. Let's get in the car and let's go. It's not looking good. We're about to get pulled over. I know it. I actually know it. Yep, same thing. But may I beg you to mess with questions if you're later on in court? I think you just said maybe give it an evidence. Can you get it turned off, please? Yeah, sure. Cool. So, do you know what? I've stopped you. Okay, we got done. Nice enough, guys. I'm not speeding or anything. Obviously, no front number plate. I literally don't even have a front number plate yet. And then the car didn't show up in my name because I don't have the logbook yet because DVLA is so far behind, which was just another can of worms. But we took the L. Yeah. Check back in th in three seconds. So it seems we have got a little bit of arch rub and it's quite weird because it's only on one side, which actually is the side which had the accident. So it doesn't quite surprise me. But I think to play it safe, we should go a smaller profile on the tires. Now, a lot of people would say like, oh yeah, um, you're gonna lose a lot of ride comfort, but with this air suspension, you literally cannot feel anything on the road. It's like a boat. So even though we have dramatically decreased the profile of the tire at the minute, it still drives like so nice. Now I know what I'll do to these cars and specifically this Bentley is not to everyone's taste, but I'd at least like you guys to appreciate the hard work and the actual time and effort it takes to actually do this sort of stuff so so if you have got this far in the video make sure you whack that subscribe button hit the thumbs up button and i'll see you in the next video guys peace out